In this Salesforce tip video, I will show you how to compare campaign membership across multiple campaigns. Let's say that I have two campaigns, Annual Giving 2018 and Annual Giving 2019. And I want to find a list of contacts that are in both campaigns. In order to do this, I will create a report from the Reports tab by pressing the New Report button. And in the report type, select Contacts and Accounts and press Continue. In the Outline section, select the columns you want to appear in the report. Once you have selected all the columns, click the Filters tab. Ensure that you are looking at all contacts and accounts and not just my contacts and accounts. And also make sure that you are looking at contacts with the created date of all time and press apply. Now we will add a cross filter for contacts with campaign history and press apply. In the campaign history filter, you will select campaign ID and set it equal to the campaign ID of the first campaign by copying and pasting it from the URL and press apply. This will show you all the contacts that are in the first campaign. Now you will add another cross filter for contacts with campaign history and press apply. And in this campaign history filter, you will set the campaign ID to the second campaign's campaign ID and press apply. Now you have the list of all the contacts that are in both campaigns. You can also add additional filters to filter this campaign history comparison report further. For example, I only want to know those who responded to the first campaign that are also in the second campaign. I can do that by adding the responded filter and setting it to true. Now let's say that on the flip side, I want to know who are the contacts that are in the first campaign that are not in the second campaign. I can do that by changing the second cross filter to contacts without campaign history and press apply. This will reset my campaign history filters, so I will re-add the campaign ID and set it equal to the second campaign ID and press apply. Now I have a list of all the contacts that are in the first campaign, but not in the second campaign. I can now save and run this report as campaign donors in 2018, but not in 2019, and press save. If you have any additional questions about this topic, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and share it with a colleague or a friend. We upload a new video on the topic of Salesforce tips and tutorials every week, so consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.